Welcome to part two of thrifting and antique shopping in the Olympic Peninsula area. Today we're going to start with some thrift stores. So there's a St. Vincent's de Paul right over my shoulder over there that we're going to go hit. And then we're going to head to Goodwill next. And I've got three or four different Goodwill locations that I have never been to that we're going to visit today. And then a couple really good antique stores. Cross our fingers. It's going to be great. If you saw last week's episode, which was actually filmed this morning, you know that I got some good stuff already here in the car. And if you haven't watched that episode, you should go do it right now. Just kidding, it's totally not St. Vincent's de Paul. We are at American Cancer Society Discovery Shop. Today I am on the hunt for valuable things that I can resell in my online vintage shop along with beautiful 1960s and 70s vintage for my own home. I love this piece of art. It's signed Nicola. I think I've actually seen a giraffe piece of art by this same artist. It's got this sweet little deer and it looks like a pencil sketch. It's $20. I'm gonna think about it. It's a beautiful one. have these exact same shoes. I love them from the 70s. Snowland. This is interesting. I've never seen Chola cactus as a napkin holder. It's actually a really great idea. And this is a huge set of teak napkin rings and they are $15 for the whole set. They need a little bit of wood oil, but we are definitely gonna get these. This is a fun colored planter. It is only $3 and it is signed Matthew. So it is a handmade studio pottery piece. Not a huge fan of the art in these little tiny frames on the easels, but they are only $5 for the set. I think this would be really cute if you took a leaf or a flower and you dried it and pressed it. And then you had a variety of different flowers or leaves in these little frames. I think that could look really cute on a bookshelf. It's just a little fun accent. I am so sad that this vintage wicker swan basket is not for sale. It is so adorable. I have nieces that are three and one right now, and they've got lots of little stuffies. So this would be so cute to have in their playroom. But unfortunately, the tag says not for sale, and I understand why. These are almost identical to the wedding spoons that I found when I was in Amsterdam at the flea market. They clearly know what they are because of the price point on them, but that's actually a good price because I've seen these spoons sell for over $100 a spoon. I think I only ended up paying around 15 euro for my entire set of six spoons when I found them in Amsterdam. Next up, we are going to a Goodwill that I have never been to, which always gets me excited. I love exploring Goodwills in new locations. I love Raku pottery and I've even gotten my friend Michelle into it lately. If this was a little bit more unique, I'd pick this vase up. It's only $7.99, but it's just not jumping out at me today. I do kind of like this very simple minimalist studio pottery vase. It's only $1.99, so that is going to be the deal breaker. If it would have been $4.99, I would pass, but for $1.99, we are getting it because these simple vases look great when they're mixed in with something with a pattern. Stay tuned for some fun staging at the end of the video.
This is a total score. This is a vintage Heath Ceramics ashtray and they sell online for around $75 to $150. Heath Ceramics are very collectible and this is one of my favorite colors they made. Love this set of smoked wine glasses. They are so pretty and simple. These are always great to mix and match. So even if you can't find a full set, don't be afraid to pick up one or two of them and then keep looking at thrift stores because you'll likely come across more. Sometimes they'll be a little taller or a little bit different shape, but they actually look really beautiful displayed on a shelf when they have a variety of heights and even slight changes in the colors. The sign says the glasses are only 99 cents each, so we're gonna get the whole set. I'm also loving this white enamel teapot. It's got a beautiful wood lid and handle, and it's not in perfect condition, but it's not too bad. Sometimes these are in really rough shape at the thrift store. I don't even think I have room in the car for that basket. It is ginormous. It's pretty cool, it's hand woven, but it's not for me today. Someone else is gonna have to come find this. I've been told by several people that I had to check out Josephine's Mercantile here in Port Orchard. It's a large vintage store that has quite a few vendors. And I just spotted something absolutely amazing over here on the shelf. This is a giant Aldo Londi Batosi vase and it's got this kind of like seashell shape to it. I've seen this in a cylinder before but I've never seen it in this shape or this large. Unfortunately it does not have a price tag on it so we're gonna go up to the front counter and find out how much they want. I have definitely found my favorite space in this vintage mall. I am seriously weirdly tempted to buy this lamp. I don't need it and I don't like shipping lamps because they are so big and shipping costs have gone up so much. But I really love this. This is giving me Westminster Abbey vibes right now. $62 seems like a very reasonable price. This is probably a one of hand carved piece. Don't think I'm gonna do it, but I have a feeling that I'm gonna have not buyer's regret. I think I'm gonna regret not buying this. This is a gorgeous piece of original art. It is massive too. I don't even think I could fit this in the car. They're asking $125. Wow, that's incredibly reasonable for a piece of art this size. I don't have room for this in my house and I'm not gonna ship something this large, but if you are in the Port Orchard area, come to Josephine's Mercantile and buy this because this is incredible. I actually heard someone around the corner talking about this dresser set. So I was kind of excited to come over in this area and find out what they were talking about. And clearly this is what they were talking about. These are immaculate and the color and the grain is just gorgeous. This is what it's called, Ransburg, Ransburg Vintage Pitcher. Originally, I thought the first one I found was a one of. It's been around two years since I found that first one and I still wasn't sure what brand it was. So this is why you go to vintage stores, my friends. You always keep learning. Only a block away from Josephine's is another antique mall. This one has two floors to it.
it looks like a lot of the spaces are having sales and this one is actually having a 30% off sale, which is funny because I was just considering buying this Victorian Ewer, but I was like, mm, 95 is just a little bit too steep. Well, with the 30% off, I'm gonna do it. What are the odds? I found myself a pretty little vintage hat. I'm not sure how old this brand is, but it does say New York and it's a vintage tag and it is only $15. All of the art on this wall is 50% off. I love this antique bird framed art. It has a signature on the bottom and it's only $39 plus it's got half off. So it's only $19.50. I've been looking for one of these vintage birdcage holders for a really long time. I'm trying to find one for our breezeway so I can display a fern in it instead of a birdcage, but I'm really looking for something that has a little bit more of an atomic shape to it. I'm gonna hold out because I'm really hoping that I could find one of those tripod atomic ones. I was headed to Goodwill, which is just down the street, and I stumbled upon this place and it says antiques new and used let's go check it out this place is interesting it does have some vintage and antiques but the pricing is really good kind of like an in-between an antique store and a thrift store this beautiful coiled basket's only $12 This looks like it might be Italian pottery and it's only $24.99. It isn't signed on the bottom, but I'm pretty sure it's Italian pottery. Either way, I think the value is closer to 50 to 60, so we're gonna get it for $24.99. This giant jug is only $34.99 and I think that this is German pottery. It doesn't look like it has any chips on it, so that's a really reasonable price for something this large. And it is signed and numbered on the bottom, so that's amazing, we are gonna get this. I'm really excited to decorate with this when I get home. I've seen this pattern before. This is ringing a bell. It doesn't have any markings on the bottom, but it's beautiful and it's only $10. And I know it's gonna come to me. I think it might be Finland of Arabia. I'm not sure. This wooden mortal and pestle is a really good price. It's only $12. This is maybe my new favorite store. Everything is priced so good here. I've been getting really into wooden jewelry lately, so I'm gonna pick this bag up for the parts. It's only $4 for the earrings, and I will probably end up reworking them into something even more dramatic. If you've followed me for a long time, you know that I love these Frederick Weinberg style Greek horses. This one is Athena with her owl. Unfortunately, they don't have the standalone horse or the archer that go with this set, but for $12.95, that's a really good deal. Next up, we are gonna hit one more Goodwill.
At first glance, I actually thought that this brass bowl was a strainer. It's so similar in style to a lot of the vintage strainers. I love a good pedestal bowl because it's great having different heights in your kitchen. So this is only $5.99 and we're gonna get it. I don't need this because I actually have a really large, cool pineapple one, but all these little leaves slide into this round section here, and then you can actually use them as little bowls and put food in them. These are great for if you're hosting a big party. These are weird wonky little cups. They're actually made out of glass and they look like they've melted. Who made these? What are these? They're kind of funny. I was just starting to give up hope on this shelf that I wasn't gonna find anything. And then I spotted this beauty for only $2.99. It is the perfect season to be selling these planters. And I have some beautiful blooms right now at home. I'm excited to decorate with this with a clipping from my yard. This is a little steep for a marble candle holder at Goodwill because I do think this is probably something that was mass produced, but I love marble so much. And so we're gonna get this for $6.99 and add it to my marble collection. Well, I'm exhausted. This has been an amazing day. I've been going hard since first thing this morning. So if you missed part one of today, you've got to go back and watch it. And now it's time to cut to the studio hall. I'm going to pull out all of these treasures back here behind me and decorate with them and tell you a little bit more about why I picked them up. I haven't decided if I like wearing this hat with it tied. Does that look weird? Does it look too like antique -y? Should I do bows? Would that be cute? <laughs> right now I've just been wearing it with this down because you can't take this part out otherwise you lose the cute little knot right there. And I like the little knots. So I haven't quite figured out how to wear this hat. So for now I'm just wearing it down with this stuff flopping around. I found some great stuff that I've got pulled out behind me and I'm excited to show it to you. One of my favorite parts about finding this vintage is to decorate with it. And I always have a really good time here in the studio decorating for you. I hope you're enjoying this portion of the video as much as the shopping. I know a lot of times it's hard to see why someone else would pick something up. Maybe you don't really see the potential in it. So it's really fun for me to get to show you what I see in that piece or what the potential could be. If you've not seen part one of this thrifting series, you've got to go back and watch it. I will put the link in the description below just in case you've missed it because I found some amazing vintage stuff in Paulsville, Washington, and I even found things that I'm going to be adding to my personal collection that I never let go of. So that means it's really good stuff. I actually just got done filming that haul a little bit ago, and then I went home and I took a lunch break so that I could make my smoothie. I've been really into Bloom smoothies lately. They are super easy to take with you on the road too, so they're really convenient for me when I go on road trips. But I even ended up packing it in my luggage and I took it with me to Costa Rica, and I had a Bloom smoothie one morning in the tree house. It doesn't get much better than waking up in the middle of the jungle to the toucans and the howler monkeys and having a smoothie and just listening to nature. Greens help balance gut health, clear skin, boost energy, and aid in digestion. For best results, drink greens every day. And if you want to try Bloom today, I will put a direct link in the description below so that you can feel good too. Well, let's get decorating with these finds. I'm going to go ahead and show you the whole haul laid out. I hope I remembered everything. When I got done with this three days of picking, my entire car was full and I had things stuffed away like under every single seat to make sure that nothing got broken. And so far, everything is safe and sound. And I think I got everything back there for today's episode. So let's get decorating. I recently went to Costa Rica and I became a complete bird watcher. Michelle, who went with me, we actually wrote down every single bird that we saw while we were in Costa Rica. And we got really, really obsessed with it and into it. We had a book with us the whole time. It was an absolute blast. I can't wait to share that episode with you here very soon. Anyways, I'm now a major bird person. And so obviously this had to come home with me. It's so beautiful. It reminds me of some of the wallpapers that they had during the Art Nouveau era. I'm not quite sure how old this is, but based on the frame, it definitely is an older piece.
Another antique piece that I picked up is this beautiful ewer. And I love the idea of taking something that is a little bit older, maybe it's more primitive or antique, and mixing it with more modern stuff. I think the contrast is just beautiful. So I'm gonna do a really fun vignette where you can see how I can style this up with a very modern setting, and I'm very curious to know what you think. This was a really good find. This is a mid-century Heath piece. It's got the stamp right there. Heath made in USA. It's in perfect condition. And I can't believe I found it at a thrift store. This is actually quite valuable. I also picked up this beautiful Hawaiian carved wood wall hanging. I think it's meant to be used either on the wall or as a trivet. I wouldn't want to put anything on it because I wouldn't want to ruin it. But it is signed here. It says Moco Melon with China Flower. 1988 and it's koa wood lovable lumber i love it so great and i found it at a thrift store found such a good deal on this wooden pestle and mortar and then i picked this up because it reminded me of some of the royal copenhagen pottery and also finland arabia it's not signed on the bottom but i feel like i know this pattern i feel like i've seen it before and it did have a stamp let me know in the comments below if you are familiar with this Either way, it's beautiful and it was not very expensive. And I'm pretty sure that this vase is Italian pottery. It did not have a signature on the bottom either. Might have originally just had an import sticker on it, but it's gorgeous and it looks very similar to some of the Batosi patterns. And I love the simplicity of this enamel teapot. It's got nice wooden handles. And sometimes when you find these at thrift stores, the wood and the enamel is so worn off that they just look junky. I don't think it's designer, but it sure is cute. This would make a beautiful fruit bowl. And I found another one of these Frederick Weinberg style Greek horses and it's Athena. And there's her little owl. These look so great styled up on a bookshelf. They're very classic mid-century to me. These are from that very first thrift store and they sure look beautiful now that they've got a fresh coat of oil on it. Speaking of, <laughs> I need to do a little bit of repair work on this beautiful piece. And then a beautiful marble candle holder, a Japanese Ikebana vase, you know I love these. And how cute is this little turtle vessel? I love him. I always feel like German pottery is underrated. I'm a huge fan of West Germany pottery. This was even stamped and it was still at that store for a really reasonable price. I just think German pottery is so beautiful and I'm not quite sure why it's not valued as high. I picked up only one of the Chola Cactus napkin rings only because they were $3 each and they didn't quite match so I felt like just having one for staging would be fun. In fact I have this larger one here that is actually for a candle but I don't want to ruin it with candle wax so I haven't been able to bring myself to actually light a candle in it but I do sometimes stage rings when I'm doing photography in this. Mid-century pot from the thrift store. This one's got some fun colors and nice texture to it. Oh, I love woven baskets. This one's really pretty. I actually prefer when you can see that the color has faded. See how blue it used to be? So the sun faded it to this pretty purple. But I actually always look for the fading because that is part of how I can tell that it is actually vintage.
I picked up this beautiful vintage print with the deer for my sister-in-law and my nieces because they have a very romantic kind of whimsical playroom and guest bedroom with kind of a cottage vibe and I think that this would look really pretty there. And if she wants help updating it, I would probably spray paint the matting a soft matte black and then put it in like a light natural wood frame. I think that would be so pretty. And it does have a signature down here. I've actually found some of this artist's work before, and I think I sold a giraffe one for maybe $80. It was $20 at the thrift store, which is a little bit steep, but I think it's really beautiful and the value of it is worth it. And I also picked up this vintage quail art. This is pretty current, probably late 80s, early 90s, and it was only $12.99. It is signed and it says something Harris. What does that say? I can't read it. I would also reframe this in a nice solid wood frame and I just think it's really beautiful and again I am apparently a bird person now. The adventure is not ending here today with today's episode. There is still one more to go and I'm really excited to share the Thrift of Palooza episode with you. So don't forget to subscribe so that you know as soon as that video drops. I will see you all in that adventure very soon. <laughs>